Welcome to Kat's Kitchen. My name is Kat and today I'm going to go through my entire Tarani syrups and sauces collection. I'm going to talk about what I use each syrup flavor for, what kind of drink recipes, and then I will also answer some frequently asked Tarani related questions at the end of the video. Tarani is my absolute favorite coffee drink syrups brand. Um, I like to stay loyal to the brands I like and with Tarani, of all of these syrups and sauces, I want to say there's two I don't love. Um, Tarani is very consistent with their flavors. They constantly pump out great options. They taste great, they're affordable, and you can find them in so many locations, which I'll talk about at the end. But for now, let's get into my collection and talk about what I use each sauce or syrup for. All right, let's do it. Starting with the white chocolate sauce. I really like this white chocolate sauce. I think it's great in an iced white mocha, hot white mocha. Some people say it doesn't taste like the Starbucks one, and I guess I could agree the Starbucks white mocha definitely is sweeter. So if you're looking for a sweeter option, even more similar to Starbucks, just add like a little tiny bit of sweetened condensed milk. You can buy that from the grocery store in the baking section. Comes in like a little can or a little pouch. Add a tiny bit with this white mocha sauce or white chocolate sauce and it's going to be sweet and delicious. Um, I usually use the sauces for hot drinks. So if you're doing a hot coffee, a hot latte and you're using a hot liquid, the sauces mix in very well with hot liquids. Usually with like an iced coffee or a cold brew, um, the sauce doesn't blend in very well. You really have to sit there and mix and maybe even froth with a milk frother, but just what I do. Next up is caramel sauce. My all time fave sauce, it's just delicious. You can't go wrong with it. I'll use this for a caramel latte. I like using the caramel sauce for, a, for an iced latte rather than the syrup just because it's a little bit sweeter, a little bit creamier. And then of course you can use the caramel sauce to drizzle on top of any drink, add it to some whipped cream. Next up is the cookies and cream sauce. This one's a little bit less well known. Um, I found it at a grocery store called Safeway. You can also find it on the Tarani website. Um, and I believe Amazon carries it too, but tastes like Oreo cookies. It's delicious. You can add it to a latte, um, add it to the top of a drink as like a cookies and cream drizzle. And then next up is the Tarani dark chocolate sauce. Love this one. I buy it time and time again. I use this for any mocha type of drink. Ice mocha, hot mocha, um, a black and white mocha, any mocha, I use this. Next up is pumpkin pie. I love this one during fall time, like love, love. Tastes like pumpkin pie, smells like pumpkin pie, so dang good. Next is the chocolate hazelnut sauce. This one is chocolatey, hazelnutty, delicious. I'll usually add that to the top of a drink, mostly a mocha or like a caramel latte, vanilla latte, and then sea salt chocolate caramel. I don't use this one a whole lot, but it is good on top of ice cream, on top of whipped cream. You can use it in a latte as well. And then the last sauce I own is this gigantic peppermint bark. I found this at US Foods Chef Store and I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> it is delicious, very pepperminty. It's almost like peppermint meets white mocha. It's sweet, but pepperminty, very, very, very good in a peppermint mocha, delicious. Um, I wish they, I wish Tarani carried it in a smaller bottle. Maybe, maybe this holiday season they'll have it. We'll see. But I've only ever seen it in this ginormous bottle and only at the chef store. I don't even think I've seen it on the Tarani website. All right, that's it for sauces. Let's get into the pure made syrups. Now the Tarani pure made syrups look a little bit different. You'll notice they have this like yellowish color label versus all the other ones have the red and blue. And that's just so you know that they're the Pure Made line. And the, the Pure Made line is free of any artificial colors, preservatives, and flavorings. Um, unlike the regular syrups, they do have artificial colors, flavors, preservatives. The Pure Made line syrups do not. Um, so if you're into artificial free type of options, then they do have so many of their flavors in the Pure Made line. Check out their website, World Market, 
um, Amazon, etc. They are a little bit more pricey because, you know, they are special. They don't taste any different to me compared to the regular syrups. So if you're going based on flavor, it doesn't matter which one you get. If you're going based on free of artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, then go for their Pure Maid line. But no, they are more expensive. So starting with the first one, this is Pure Maid Almond. And I'm realizing now that I still haven't opened this one yet. <laughs> this is a newer one. Haven't tried it yet. So hopefully I'll pull it soon for my My Homie Taraji series on Instagram and I'll be able to make some recipes with it and then let you know what I think. Next up is Pure Made Blueberry. This one is really good. Like the blueberry is subtle, <sighs> very pleasant, yum. It smells so good. I used it in a blueberry crisp latte on Instagram this past week. Um, you can add it to a Red Bull for a Rebel type of drink. Um, what else? Lemonade, a blueberry lemonade is delicious and a blueberry matcha lemonade is fabulous. Next up is the Pure Made Lavender. I really, really have been liking lavender lately. You can add it to lemonade to make a lavender lemonade. That combination is fabulous. Lavender cold brew, put that on top of an iced latte, iced cold brew, salted egg yolk. <laughs> When I said that I disliked two of the Tarani syrups, this was one of them. Um, I tried once, this is not my favorite. It's weird. The best word I can use to describe it is weird. Tarani did tell me that if you mix it with their dark chocolate sauce to make kind of like a salted egg yolk mocha, that's the best flavor combination because it's supposed to be like a custardy sweet type of flavor. I don't love that in my drinks, um, but they do have that one. And I see people that use like full bottles of it all the time and they love it. So maybe you just need to try it for yourself, but that's one of the flavors I'm just not a huge fan of. Next up is the toasted black sesame syrup. This one is, what's the word? Intriguing. Um, it's got a very distinct smell and taste, like toasty sesame seeds. Great in chai lattes, matcha lattes. You can make a frappuccino with it, with caramel. It's a toasty, earthy, toasty and earthy are probably the best words to describe that one, but very good. Next up is the Pure Made Vanilla Salt. Just like their salted caramel syrup, it's vanilla with a little pinch of salt flavor. I love it in cold foam. I love it in iced lattes. What else? Cold brews. You can use it similarly to any vanilla syrup, um, but just know it has a little taste of saltiness to kind of balance out that sweet flavor. And I do really like it. Last pure made syrup is the white peach. This one is delicious in lemonades, iced teas, spritzers, like with a club soda and a little bit of raspberry syrup is really good. I also love white peach with pomegranate syrup somewhere down here. Um, very, very good, very fruity, but not overpowering peach flavor. I do really like it. All right, those are the pure made syrups that I own. Let's get into all of the regular ones, starting with Almond Roca. Love this one. If you haven't tried the candy, try it and compare it to the syrup. They taste identical. Buttery, chocolatey, kind of caramely. Very, 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 very good. Next up is the Blue Raspberry. I think that one is my favorite fruity flavor. It's a little tart, a little sour, but also sweet. The blue raspberry flavor is strong, almost like a like blue Jolly Rancher. 10 out of 10, great. Add it to lemonade, add it to a Red Bull, add it to an iced tea. You can't go wrong with that one. Next up is Blackberry. This one's way up there with the blue raspberry. It is phenomenal. Great in lemonade, great in teas, Red Bulls. You can even use it to make a blackberry mocha. It's surprisingly good with the chocolate sauce and coffee. So definitely get blackberry if you like blackberry flavor and you're looking for something tangy but also sweet. Brown sugar cinnamon, one of my all time faves. I love this syrup. It's does have a strong cinnamon flavor and if you don't like cinnamon in your coffee or you don't like cinnamon in general i don't recommend getting that one because it does have a potent cinnamon vibe but i really like it and i love cinnamon in my coffee so if you're into that definitely definitely grab the brown sugar cinnamon 
You can make brown sugar oat milk shaken espressos, brown sugar uh, lattes, cold brews, iced coffees, cold foam. It's delicious. It pairs so nicely with so many other flavors. Very, very good. Next up is butterscotch. Buttery, scotchy, no. <laughs> Definitely gives butterscotch vibes, like butterscotch candy. Mixed with coffee, it's very, very pleasant. I've done a butterscotch latte. Um, cold foam also is really good on like a vanilla latte with butterscotch foam, Mwah, yum. This is butter pecan, right? Butter pecan. I really like this one. I recently made a butter pecan latte that was delightful. Um, it's a little bit more nutty and toasty than the butterscotch. So if you like the nuttier flavor with butter taste, get the butter pecan over the butterscotch, but both are delish. This is cantaloupe. I haven't yet opened the cantaloupe and used this one. This is my newest syrup I just got, but I am really excited to try it out and see what it tastes like. This is chai tea spice. Another one I haven't opened and I've had this one since like Christmas. I need to get on it with trying that one. Um, if you get the chai tea syrup, do not use it to make a chai latte. Um, the syrup is just sugar, water, and flavorings. Chai lattes have like actual chai, it's a tea. So if you're just using the syrup with milk, you're just gonna be drinking milk and syrup versus drinking an actual chai latte. So you do need to get a chai concentrate if you're wanting to make a chai latte. Tazo has a great one, Trader Joe's has a great one, and Oregon Chai also has a great chai latte concentrate. I think I would use the chai tea, the chai tea spice for maybe a cold foam. Um, I don't know, I've never used it, so I'm not sure what it would really taste good in. Cheesecake syrup, oh, I love this one. Totally gives cheesecake vibes. I just made a dark chocolate raspberry cheesecake latte, phenomenal. Goes well with raspberry, goes well with strawberry, any chocolate um, syrup or sauce, caramel syrup or sauce as well. Make lattes with it, cold brews, cold foams, all of that. This one is cherry. I usually use this one in like Diet Coke with freshly squeezed lime to make a cherry lime um, Coke, or I'll use it with vanilla syrup to make a cherry vanilla uh, diet, diet Coke, but you can also use it in a tea or Red Bull. Next up is chocolate chip cookie dough. I love, 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 love this syrup. Like love, one of my top three favorites. It smells delicious, tastes delicious. It's gonna make your coffee fabulous. You can't go wrong with that one. I have so many recipes up on my blog using this syrup. I'll link it in the description. You need this one if you don't have it. It is mwah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Chocolate macadamia nut. I just used this one in my Starbucks macadamia nut white chocolate cold foam. Um, it's really good. Strong macadamia flavor, strong chocolatey flavor, but overall delicious. Add it to cold foams, cold brews, mocha type of drinks, lattes. Next is chocolate Milano. Do you know the chocolate Milano cookies? They're like a shortbread with chocolate layer in the middle. Delicious, they taste identical to that. You can make a chocolate Milano um, latte, cold brew, cold foam, iced coffee, all that good stuff. Cinnamon syrup. I use this one to make the Starbucks cinnamon caramel cream cold brew. Tastes delicious. It gives you that cinnamon vibe, but also some sweetness. You could also use it in iced coffees, cold brews, lattes, all of that. Definitely cold foam. Classic caramel. Can't go wrong with classic caramel. I also have the classic hazelnut. These are just popular coffee flavors. I don't know the difference between the classic caramel and hazelnut and the like regular caramel and hazelnut. The Tarani website has all the specific like differences between the syrup families, but you can't go wrong whether you're getting the classic version of it or just the regular version of it. This one is coconut. I love this one in Diet Coke, the coconut mocha. So add the coconut syrup, some of the dark chocolate sauce, espresso, milk. The combination is delicious. You could also mix it with the pineapple syrup and like um, club soda to make kind of a spritzer type thing. Delicious. Cupcake syrup. 
This is one of my newer syrups and I'm almost done with the bottle because I love it so much. It is so good, smells so good. <sighs> smells very sweet, almost like sugar cookie or sweet cupcakes. I think it's phenomenal. It tastes identical to the Starbucks sugar cookie syrup, like identical. So if you love that one during the holiday season, you need the cupcake syrup. Need, 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 it's so good in cold foam, great in lattes. I'll make a cupcake latte with some whipped cream and sprinkles on top and it feels like I'm just celebrating the day. Super duper good, definitely grab that one. Next up is English toffee. This syrup is my second non-fave syrup. Um, the salted egg yolk one I don't love. I also don't love the English toffee. I bought it because I thought it was going to be similar to the Starbucks toffee nut. And it's, it's just not, um, I don't know why it doesn't, it doesn't really taste like salted caramel toffee. Um, I think their salted caramel syrup tastes way closer to the Starbucks toffee nut syrup than the English toffee. Um, I need to make more recipes using this English toffee one, but I used it the one time and then never gave it another shot. So maybe I'll change that. This next one is French vanilla. It's like vanilla and caramel combined. So if you like both of those flavors together, you don't need to get individual syrups, just get the French vanilla. And it also just kind of gives your vanilla syrup a little extra oomph, you know? If you like vanilla lattes, you could use the French vanilla syrup to give it a little extra caramely sweet flavor. I really like that one. Gingerbread syrup, delicious. Tastes exactly like gingerbread. Use it to make a gingerbread latte, frappuccino, um, and then add a little bit of nutmeg on top. Mwah! That syrup mixed with nutmeg is just delightful. Then I have guava. Guava syrup, super yummy in um, lemonades, iced teas. I love the guava, smells great, tastes great. Hibiscus. This one's fun. It's a little different. It's flowery, um, fruity, it tastes really good in a lemonade or a matcha latte. I made a mango hibiscus um, matcha mixed with some coconut milk and it was just absolutely delicious. This one is Italian eggnog, perfect for the holiday season. Uh, tastes just like eggnog. You can use it to make an eggnog latte, eggnog cold brew, super good. Irish cream, one of my all time faves. Irish cream was actually my first syrup I ever bought by Tarani. I used it to make an iced kicker from Dutch Bros. It's just the Irish cream syrup, uh, espresso, half and half and ice. Thus sparked my love for Tarani syrups because the Irish cream was just so dang good. Use it to make ice kickers, different Irish cream lattes, the Irish cream cold brew with the cold foam, super duper good. Next up is lemon, one of my newer flavors. So far I've only used it in like a punch recipe with cranberry juice, orange juice, and club soda and fresh cranberries and it was delicious. So I'm excited to find other uses for it. This one is mango, always a good choice. Use it for a mango lemonade, mango black tea, mango green tea. Next is passion fruit. I really like this one. It's a like a subtle tropical fruity flavor. Smells so dang good. Maybe not subtle. Subtle is the wrong word. It's a pleasant tropical fruity flavor. Uh, use it in iced teas. Add it to a Red Bull with the peach syrup. That's really good. Um, speaking of peach syrup, peach right here. Peach and passion fruit together are good. Mango, passion fruit, peach, coconut, peach, coconut, passion fruit. Any of the fruity tropical syrups pair really nicely together. Peppermint. Great for a peppermint mocha, peppermint white mocha. I do feel like the peppermint part of it is really subtle. It's not a super strong overpowering peppermint flavor. The peppermint bark sauce has way more peppermint flavor than the syrup. This one is sweeter and less pepperminty. Overall, still really good. Use it for cold foam, iced lattes, mochas, peppermint mochas, all of that. This is pistachio. I really like this one. I've heard mixed reviews on the Tarani pistachio. I feel like it tastes just like pistachio ice cream. Kind of like the artificial pistachio almond extract flavor, but I really like it. I use it for all my Starbucks pistachio related drinks. Pistachio cream cold brew, pistachio latte, pistachio frappuccino, 
all of those things. It's delicious. Next up is pomegranate. I buy this one over and over again because it is so dang good. I use it with the peach syrup and black tea. Very yummy. Also add it to a Red Bull to make pomegranate Red Bull concoction with lime. Ah, oh, so good. Love the pomegranate. This one's prickly pear. I recently found this one at World Market and was like, I am so intrigued, I gotta try it. It's like an earthy berry flavor. Ugh, I really like it in lemonade. Oh, lemonade, prickly pear, delish. Um, it's also really good mixed with guava juice and black tea, delightful. And if you see the prickly pear syrup, I do recommend snagging it. It's surprisingly fabulous. This one is pumpkin pie syrup. I love this during fall time for pumpkin pie lattes, cold brews, iced coffees, cold foam even. This one is raspberry. Oh, I'm torn between blackberry and raspberry. I don't know which one I like better. They're both so delicious. They smell similar, they taste similar. You can use this in iced teas, lemonades, or um, add it to a Red Bull or energy drink, whatever kind you like. Strawberry is great with the cheesecake syrup. Um, it's great. You can make strawberry cold foam, add it to lemonade, add it to teas, Red Bulls, sparkling waters, that kind of thing. Tiramisu. Love a tiramisu latte, but I also have recently used that to make a tiramisu cheesecake. You use the syrup in place of any sugar. It makes the entire dessert taste like tiramisu. It's like cocoa powder meets coffee meets cheesecake absolutely fabulous you need to try it it's delicious then we have toasted marshmallow syrup toasty vibes s'mores vibes um, i use it to make a s'mores latte s'mores frappuccino very good especially with the dark chocolate sauce love that combo then i have vanilla my all-time favorite syrup you can't go wrong with vanilla you can use it to make vanilla sweet cream cold brews vanilla cold foam vanilla lattes and then it just pairs so nicely with so many different syrups. Caramel, the chocolate ones, um, cherry in a Coke. You can do any type of vanilla latte and then a fun flavored cold foam. Also this syrup bottle um, is plastic and I accidentally melted it with the hot air from my air fryer one day. And so <laughs> totally wonky, um, but I can't throw it away. I love it so much and I just keep refilling it because it's my fave. Then I have vanilla bean. I don't love this one as much as vanilla or French vanilla. This one is more toasty, toasty vibes, but it does taste a lot like the toasted vanilla syrup from Starbucks. They had that a while back. So if you like the toasted vanilla syrup or sauce, I don't remember which one it was, this one is going to taste very similar to it. It's good, I just don't like it as much as the regular vanilla or the French vanilla, but still good. And then white chocolate syrup. So this one is sweet, white chocolatey. You can add it to lattes, cold brews, iced coffees, etc. I'll talk about the difference between the syrup and the sauce in just a little bit. Moving on to sugar-free syrups. I have sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon, classic caramel, and vanilla. Now, I'm not going to sit here. Oh, and I also have a sugar-free pumpkin spice. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say they taste exactly like the regular syrups, just like Diet Coke and regular Coke taste different. It's the same thing with the syrups. You can tell that they're sugar-free. They're a little off because they don't have real sugar, but they're still pretty good. The only one I will say that tastes a little funky is the brown sugar cinnamon one in sugar-free. It kind of tastes like medicine. I don't super love it. When I use that one, I will always mix it with a regular syrup to kind of mask that medicine-y taste. I'll only use that one if I'm trying to lower the overall sugar in the drink and I'm using another syrup. So say I want to do a brown sugar cinnamon latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. I might use the sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon in the latte and then I'll use the regular vanilla in the cold foam. That way I'm not getting twice as much sugar, but you do you. I will just say this one, the brown sugar cinnamon one is a little funky. The other ones taste completely fine, but they do still taste sugar-free. Not gonna lie to you about that. The last syrup I own is this little baby cane sugar syrup. This is identical to the Starbucks 
classic syrup. It's a sweetener, but there's no flavorings to it. So it's just water, sugar. It's to sweeten your iced teas, your iced coffees without giving it any flavor. But if you like a caramelized coffee, you would want to go with the caramel syrup because there's flavoring in it. If you just want your iced coffee sweetened, go for the cane sugar syrup. So that is my Tarani syrups and sauces collection. A couple of my most commonly asked questions are, how do you store all of them? I have a big Ikea shelf in my pantry and I just put all of my syrups there in alphabetical order so I can easily find them. I used to not alphabetize them and oh my gosh, it was just such a mess trying to, <laughs> trying to find the syrup I wanted. So I alphabetize them now, keep them in the pantry on the big old storage shelf and that works for me. Another question is what's the difference between the syrups and sauces? So for example, the white chocolate syrup and the white chocolate sauce, the biggest difference is their ingredients. This is water, sugar, flavorings, and preservatives. This one is water, sugar, flavorings, preservatives, and salt, sweetened condensed milk, regular milk, cocoa butter, etc. So there's more ingredients in here to make it a thicker, creamier type of sauce. So if I add this sauce into iced coffee, it's going to sink to the bottom and basically stay clumpy. So you really have to mix, maybe get a milk froth there to kind of blend the sauce up in the liquid versus the syrup. I add this in and it automatically starts to dissolve and mix in with the drink. So usually I'll use a sauce for any hot liquids I'm using. Hot espresso shots, hot coffee, that kind of thing, because it's going to mix better because the hot liquid is melting it, then you mix, no biggie. With this one, I'll use the syrups in, um, in cold drinks. So iced coffees, cold brews, whatever. But you can absolutely use either or, just know the main difference is the ingredients and kind of the thickness level because there's condensed milk, milk, etc. in this one. Do you need to refrigerate these? No, none of them need to be refrigerated, including the sauces. You don't need to refrigerate. If you put them in the fridge, they're going to get really hard and then you're not going to be able to squeeze them out of the bottle. You're going to have a real hard time. These syrups and sauces can last a long time. They all have expiration dates on them. I will say I haven't had a syrup go bad. The only thing I've noticed is they do lose their potency. So I've had this coconut one for a long time, a couple years now. And I don't even think I've hit the expiration date and I've had it for two years. Anyway, I've just noticed it doesn't taste as strong. Like if I put it in a drink, I don't get major coconut vibes. I have to add more of it to get that stronger coconut taste. So I don't feel like they go bad. I do feel like they lose their potency over time, which is okay for at home use. Usually you're not keeping them for years and years and years. Um, but if you are, because you have too many like me, just know that they just aren't as strong the older they get. Kind of like us. Another common question is why do I pick Tarani over any other syrups and have I tried other syrup brands? Yes, I have. I've tried Monin and Da Vinci and they're okay. Monin, really though? <laughs> I've tried a few of their syrups and they're just, they're not great. They have kind of a weird aftertaste to me. They're just, they're not great versus the Tarani syrups, I keep buying more and each of them have been impressive. With Monin, the more I bought, the more disappointed I got. So I don't buy Monin, I don't like Monin. Da Vinci, I bought one flavor from them and I think it was their toffee nut or toffee, something like that. Um, and it was good, definitely okay. What I like about Tarani is they have consistently good syrups they're affordable and you can find them in so many different locations. Which leads me to my next question, Kat, where do you buy all of your syrups and sauces? My number one place to buy them is called the US Foods Chef's Store. I will drop a link in the description that has all of their locations so you can check and see if there's one near you. They have a huge selection, they're affordable, they're like $6.50 per bottle. So I have bought a lot of these from the chef store. My next favorite is TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods. Kind of lump those three together because they have similar um, selections, availability, and pricing. I bought my blue raspberry one from Marshalls not that long ago for 
big old bottle for seven bucks and you can find some really cool hidden gems there. Like I get so many people that find the cupcake one there, the chocolate chip cookie dough, some of those fun flavors. So definitely check the home section of Marshall's Home Goods and TJ Maxx because you might score with some really great Tarani syrup flavors. Another great place is World Market. I bought the prickly pear one at World Market not that long ago. It was like 10-ish bucks. So not as cheap as the other options, but still affordable, great selections. They have a lot of World Markets around. So check and see if there's one near you. And they have the sugar-free, pure-made, and regular options there. So that's a plus. Uh, another place is called Smart and Final. I believe they're like West Coast based, Arizona, California type of thing. Uh, their pricing is very similar to the Chef Store and they usually have a huge, enormous, enormous selection. So definitely check to see if there's a location like that near you. And then a couple other places, Amazon. Amazon's usually more expensive. They range from like 10 bucks to 18-ish dollars. 18 is kind of expensive, but in the long run, if you're making coffee and drinks at home, you're going to be saving money. So even though it's a little bit more pricey, if there's a flavor you really want or really like and you can't find elsewhere, usually they have it on Amazon. And then of course the Tarani website has all of their flavors of syrups and sauces. Usually the syrups are about 10 bucks, just over 10 bucks. Pure made ones I think are 12. Sauces I wanna say are like six to eight bucks, but they do charge for shipping um, up until you get to like 50 bucks. So just keep that in mind. So it might be pricier in the long run if you're only getting a couple flavors, but you also might be saving money if you buy multiple. Same thing kind of goes with sauces. I've found them at World Market. Grocery stores carry some of the basic flavors like white mocha, caramel, and dark chocolate. World Market, Ross, I've found some of them there. The chef store has the big bottles. So if you use caramel every single day, it might be beneficial to get a larger bottle like this. And then one last thing, the pumps. The pumps like this, as you can see, I don't use them for my syrups. And it's just because I used to use them. And because I don't use the same flavors every single day, I switch it up quite often the sugar would crystallize on the pump, like underneath the pump, and then I wouldn't be able to push it down. So that drove me crazy and I would be pushing it and almost killing myself with the piece of um, crystallized sugar that would bounce into the cup and shoot back up. And I said, I'm getting rid of all of my pumps. I, I don't love them. I think they're just extra money you don't need, but if you, are using the same flavor or a couple flavors all the time, then the pumps might be benef beneficial for you and they're easy you know, to measure out. One pump is about half a tablespoon of syrup. So two pumps would be a full tablespoon, four pumps, two tablespoons, six pumps, three tablespoons. I kind of eyeball it usually, but you could also use just a tablespoon, pour it in and make your drinks that way. Those are all the questions I usually get regarding syrups. Oh, my top five favorites. Chocolate chip cookie dough, cupcake, blue raspberry, mm, blackberry, and brown sugar cinnamon. Eh. We'll throw vanilla in there too because I just love vanilla. Those are my top favorites. It's really hard to pick five because there's so many dang good ones, but you really can't go wrong with any of them, um, except for salted egg yolk and English toffee. <laughs> As for sauces, I like the caramel sauce, white chocolate and dark chocolate are my top three favorites, but I also really love the pumpkin pie. Mwah, that one's delicious. Let me know which Tarani syrup flavor is your absolute fave. If you have any comments, questions, drop them below in the comment section. And I hope this video was helpful for you in seeing how to use some of these various flavors of syrups and sauces. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.